Welcome to That's Good Sports. I am Brandon, the anti-Tom Brady Perna, and today as the Eagles prepare for their second preseason game, this one against the ultimate enemy, the New England Patriots, I want to break down a few of the things you should be watching for as an Eagles fan and a few things you should be praying for as an NFL fan, the Patriots' demise. The one thing I know for sure about Philly is Fletcher Cox is ready to go. It only took him two plays before he sacked Landry Jones like a grocery bagger. Please, Fletcher, give Tom Brady the Cox welcome by repeating what you did to poor Landry Jones. The Eagles lost their preseason debut and the Patriots won their first matchup against Washington and also ended Darius Geis' rookie season by tearing his ACL like the vicious cheating bastards they are. What are you gonna do about it, Philly? What are you gonna do about it, Phil? Well, probably nothing, since you too hate the red skin potatoes. That's good sports. Please, if you're new here, subscribe to this YouTube channel. And the notification button, if you don't click that fucking thing, I will lose my goddamn mind. So please, just click it. That way you know when I upload videos. Also, I do have Big Dick Patreon shout out for Brian Johnson, John Evans, Chris Harris, Sir Goodwin McWooferton, <laughs> no, yeah, bravo, Von Miller for president, Prez, Diego de Leon, he of course discovered America, James, I want that jersey, damn it, Fife, Caleb Nolan, and Courtney Powell. And this week I am doing a jersey giveaway for my patrons only. I posted about it in Patreon. Uh, so if you want to try to win a jersey, you got to be a Patreon and then you got to comment on that post. Now, the most important thing to monitor as an Eagles fan uh, are your team's injuries. And there are a bunch of them piling up uh, and some lingering from last season. Alshon Jeffrey is one of a handful of important players still recovering from off-season surgery. Joining, who's the other guy? Oh yeah, Carson Wentz. Uh, Jeffrey had shoulder surgery, is on the pup list, and may not be back on the field before Carson Wentz. Uh, Key guys nicked up are Nelson Aguilar, Marcus Wheaton, Donnell Pumphrey, Mac Collins, and Corey Clement. All skill position guys, many of them fighting for roster spots and depth positions. Uh, Mike Wallace has tendonitis, but he returned to practice, as did running back Matt Jones, just in time to not make the team behind a stacked backfield. Which is a shame, because Jones showed flashes with Washington way back in 2015. Here's a weird stat. The Eagles lost three offensive players to ACL injuries last year. Wentz, Sproles, and Peters. MVP-level QB, Hall of Fame-level tackle, and maybe Hall of Famer Darren Sproles. The Patriots lost Julian Edelman with an ACL injury. That's a 3-1 to ACL tear ratio, and the Eagles still won the fucking Super Bowl. I don't care if it's preseason. Eagles fans, you, it is your duty to remind Patriots fans that you beat their ass in the Super Bowl every single fucking day this week until you play. And even after you play. All year long. For the rest of your life. Please, taunt them. Taunt them. Now, after watching most of the Eagles Steelers game, uh, I noticed a few things. First, Dallas Godert, I mean Philly Godert, looks like a great draft pick. Four receptions for 66 yards and a touchdown. This should make you want to go in the dirt. Know what I mean? No? Well, where I come from, digging a little hole in the dirt and making love to Mother Earth is the most environmentally respectful thing you can do. That's what I think of when I see Godert on the field. And it's pronounced Godert, like Gogurt. Even if Dallas says it, Goddard. I watch Goddard. I watch Goddard. Does, does Dallas say Goddard? I know the announcers did, but it's a German word with a hard O. With a hard O, it's pronounced Godert, and there is... Such a great opportunity for Gogurt sponsorship. I mean, the yogurt industry loves NFL players, except for Cam Newton now. Look, pairing Dallas Gogurt with Zach Ertz and two di- tight end sets this season, uh, teams are, they're not gonna be able to cover both of those guys. And it's not just that Gogurt looks good. 
He looks like a smart player who understands how to get open and help his QB when he scrambles. Uh, the Eagles' run game is going to be good this season, I believe. Josh Adams, Corey Clement, Jay Ajayi, who dug them out of terrible field position here, all averaged five yards per carry with Clement having six. Uh, Ajayi averaged five yards per carry in the first uh, preseason game after this happened. At five yards per carry, all you have to do is run it twice and you get a first down every single time. Recipe for success is right there. Finally, I noticed Nate Sudfeld looked terrible, then looked pretty good, and then looked terrible. At least you can live comfortably knowing your third string QB in Sudfeld looks like an MVP compared to the Broncos now third string quarterback Paxton Lynch. Uh, one thing you wanna see from Philly is more consistent play from uh, quarterback Rasul Douglas, uh, who on a free play got burned by Juju Smith-Schuster. And not only did he mistime the jump, but he fell doing it. He's your reserve cornerback behind uh, Ronald Darby. Uh, he did have a nice pick later in the second quarter, but you want to see him play just a little more consistently, especially against if he's going against starters or number twos, if he gets that chance. You also want to see safety Trey Sullivan make better tackling attempts than this one on Fitzgerald Toussaint. I mean, that's embarrassing even for a second team safety. New England is going to want to take a long, hard look at the original Big Dick player. Sorry, Big Dick Nick, but I gave this name to Eric Decker in 2013. Big Dick Decker. Way before Jesse James Decker pretended she invented it and way before Barstool Sports stole it from me. Those cocksuckers won't even return my emails. Now, Eric Decker, was signed after New England released Malcolm in the Mitchell. Apparently Decker has struggled to catch balls at practice. Uh, hard to handle balls if your big dick keeps getting in the way now, isn't it? Yeah, like I would know. Josh McDaniels, of course, drafted Eric Decker in Denver, and Decker may be one of the only players on earth who actually got along with Josh McDaniels while they were both with the Broncos. So he could be a big part of that offense for New England once he picks up the system, and he will. The opportunity is there since Julian Edelman is suspended for the first four games of the season uh, for, of course, selling ecstasy to teenagers while leading a pep rally at his high school alma mater. mater. He also uh, egged the principal's house, but the league couldn't prove it was him since he looks like every 18-year-old athlete from Woodside High. Uh, an Eagles fan purchased this billboard on the highway leading into Gillette Stadium before this preseason game. Now this is an excellent, an elite level troll job, which has earned this woman uh, the Big Dick Fan of the Week award. Nothing makes me happier than a giant fuck you to the Patriots. Uh, a GoFundMe paid for this billboard, proving football fans will spend money on anything as long as it's anti-Patriots. Uh, with all the injuries to the wide receiver group, the door is open right now for Shelton Gibson, who is seizing his opportunity, looking like the most improved player from last season for the Eagles. He's not just better as a wide receiver, he returned two kicks for 53 yards against the Steelers. Uh, he only had two receptions last week, but one was this 63-yard bomb from Sudfeld. If Gibson continues to play like this, he may jump Kamir Aiken or Marcus Wheaton on the depth chart and beat out his biggest competition, Matt Collins, also hurt as I mentioned earlier. Nick Foles did not play last week due to neck spasms uh, and will play this week, as will Tom Brady, who sat out last week with a sore back. Neck injury, back injury. My neck, my back. My neck, my back. Reminds me of that female empowerment song by Kaya. My neck, my back, lick my pussy and my crack. I don't think I've ever licked somebody's back during sex, but I think this song should be the song Eagles players come out of the tunnel to. They're such a progressive team and this would be great for helping get Equal pay for women. So take on the initiative, Philly. Make sure I keep us and us, nigga, all over your face and stuff. In their first game, New England uh, ran the hell out of the, the ball. Uh, Jeremy Hill had 11 carries, and Ralph Webb and Mike Gillisley each had 14 carries. I don't know how many backs New England will keep, but behind James White and Rex Burkhead, the third and fourth spots are open, and there's a lot of uh, competition back there to choose from between Jeremy Hill, Brandon Bolden, James Devlin at fullback, Mike Gillisley, rookie Sony Michelle. Uh, Michelle, I believe, will make the roster, 
Um, but there's a lot to consider with that fourth spot for the Patriots. That's kind of what I'll be watching without pure hate in my heart for the Patriots. The Eagles uh, won't play Darren Sproles again this week. He gets the senior citizen uh, rest period for preseason. And running backs Corey Clement and Donnell Pumphrey are expected to sit with injuries. That really opens the door for Josh Adams and Matt Jones to make an impression on the coaching staff. Uh, Pumphrey's injury could end up costing him a roster spot because behind a Jai Sproles and Clement or Smallwood, there's really only one possible opening. One small opening, and if anybody's getting through a tiny opening, it's Smallwood. Now that's something I do have experience with. Smallwood is currently ahead of Clement because he's healthy and looked good thus far in practice. Uh, well, except of course for this terrible fumble that was fortunately cover recovered by the Eagles. I expect Clement to be the number two back with Sproles mixed in when the season actually starts, but honestly, who the fuck knows? The last thing you wanna see from Philly is better discipline. Two of the Steelers' biggest offensive plays were free plays spawned by defensive offsides penalties. The Patriots will destroy you, even with Brian Hoyer, if you give them free plays like you did last week. This game is meaningless, but Philly, do not give these ass butts the satisfaction of a victory. That's all I ask. All you ladies pop your pussy like this. Thanks for watching another episode of That's Good Sports. Subscribe here on YouTube. Uh, I do a weekly podcast with Will Keys on my second channel, That's Good Broncos. It's also on iTunes, Podbean, That's Good Sports Podcast. That's what it's called. Look it up. Give us a good rating. And as long as I get the game, I'll probably live stream the Eagles Patriots.